great fan. Um, you're one of the most successful um, boxing trainers here in, in, in New Zealand. Uh, how, how are you today? Um, yeah, I'm fine. I was looking forward to Pierce tonight. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, I've been reading in the papers you're, you're leaving um, New Zealand's amateur boxing team to focus on uh, professional charges like Breeze and. And Bowen. And Bowen, yeah, I think he's, he's here, uh, Bowen Morgan. Bowen Morgan, yeah. next to Thursday night. Yeah, yes, yeah, so he's from the West Coast. And uh, So, um, what's the difference between amateur and, and, and professional boxing? Is there much of a... Uh, well, to be quite honest, I've done two stints as the New Zealand amateur boxing coach. Uh, yeah, I went to the Olympics, a couple of football games to the Worlds. Um, I believe now that um, we're bound to turn professional. Uh, it was time to hand the job over to somebody else, and I'm more than happy. Um, yeah, I'm still training some amateurs, but uh, I'm still focusing on the two professionals at the moment. Yeah, as a national coach, you, you, were you not able to be in the corner? Is that is that like one of the rules you're not allowed to? That's one of the rules, yeah. It's a uh, rule that's just come out a couple of years ago, and um, if you're the national coach, you cannot be in the corner of professionals. Okay, so how, how good is it going to feel to be in the corner? You know, you, you train these fighters day in and day out, and to actually be there at the fight in the corner, yeah, I know. I was training Reese McCurney for a lot of bouts and um, I wasn't allowed to go in the corner. But, um, it was a wee bit different last time. We caught Sam Rapiro. I went in his corner and um, I'm not going to get rid of me now. Uh, do Reese and, 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 and Bowen spar each other? Yeah, they spar each other. Um, I mean, it's. Um, Reese has got to pull up a wee bit, he's a lot heavier than Brown, but um, you know, they've done a lot of rounds together. Was he supposed to be fighting on, on this undercard at all, Reese? Uh, he was supposed to be, but um, they found it very difficult to get him done. And about Bowen, uh, he could have gone for the fifth national title, but he, I, I think he was hurt over the, over the, the controversy surrounding his last fight. Um, yeah, I mean... What's your feelings on that? Do you think he should have stayed and, and got that title? Or? Well, I was, to be quite honest, was, I was a wee bit disappointed. I mean, I've had guys that would break their fought with broken hands to win a New Zealand title, and he basically threw one away. But in saying that, Bowen had uh, 105 amateur fights. Um, he'd been all around the world. He's won gold medals over international gold medals. Very, very unlucky at the Commonwealth Games, as we all know. Um, yeah, I mean, it was in in hindsight now. I think we've done the right decision. I mean, he was on a hiding for nothing. But I mean, there has to be some benefits with turning pro, right? I mean, is, is, there, is there more money in, in, in the game, or is there more well, fame that comes with it? Or I, look, let's hope there's both of that. I mean, yeah, you've got a higher profile, and um, yeah, let's hope you can uh, earn a few bob on the way through. How did you meet? Like, how did you meet up with, uh, with Bowen? Oh, I've trained Bowen now for well, probably seven or eight years. Um, seven or eight. Years. So you've worked with him since he was he was a kid, right? Yeah. Did you see that potential instantly, or or do you like how do you judge? Do you see his work ethic? Oh, and Bowen. Um, to really cut a long story short, when Bowen left the coast to come and live with me and leave his daughter behind, yeah, I knew he had something special to offer. So he's he's committed to this. Um, what, what do you see him in, in, in like three to four years? Um, Look, I think, um, as I said, I didn't quit that job for nothing. I think he's got a hell of a lot of potential, and let's hope he shows a bit on Thursday night. What's your prediction? Um, is he fighting Friday? Is that, is that his? Thursday night. Okay. No, but um, his opponent, what do you know about him? Um, well, all I know is he's pretty heavy handed, he can take a shot, um, comes to fight, um, that'll suit Bone down the ground. Yeah, well, what's your prediction? Um, I don't, it's I, not going to go the distance. Well, well, I can't say that, but I don't think he'll handle body's bone, uh, bone's body shots. Um, I just, I like to ask all boxers and trainers, uh, you know, the biggest fight is happening on uh, May 2nd in Las Vegas. Uh, what do you feel about that fight? Uh, yeah, it's been a long time in the fight line, hasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of money on uh, on tap there, but um, uh, I mean, both the true fighters, but if I had to sway one way or the other, I'd, I'd have to put my money on Mayweather. Why does nobody say Pacquiao? Like, everyone I ask says Mayweather. I mean, Pacquiao was a beast in himself, right? I mean, there's still a lot of guys out there that are willing to put their money on Pacquiao, too, don't worry about that. Yeah, because he didn't do too well against Maidan, right? I mean, he showed like he was vulnerable. He showed weaknesses. He was able to take some clean shots. You, you don't think Manny Pacquiao could, could kill this guy? Uh, look. As I said, I'll 
I put my money on Mayweather, but um, you know this has been a long, long time coming. Um, you know the money speaks, says it all. I mean, there's a lot of people that want to see that fight, and let's just hope it's a good fight. Are you going to go there any chance? Are you? Uh, uh, but the tickets are a wee bit out of my league, but I was, um, I was very keen at going on one stage, don't worry. Um, have you ever met these guys while you've been around the world? Like, have you ever... No, I haven't. No, not personally. No. You think Bowen could reach these, the status, uh, possibly? Uh, look, as I said before, Bowen has got a lot of potential um, with the right preparation and the right fights and the right, the right background. There's no reason why he can't get to that stage. Phil, it's great to meet such a great coach like you. Um, pleasure. Thank you for taking the time to meet me. Thank you. Appreciate it. What was this for?